Hi, I'm Shari from Karma Kids Yoga, and I'm really excited to share with you today some baby yoga exercises. Baby yoga can be done at any time. We like to start at about five or six weeks, but any time uh, in their first year. Uh, baby yoga is great for strengthening their growing muscles, for aiding in digestion, for promoting better, better sleep patterns, and of course, helping your infant towards their next stage of development. Today I'm here with Matilda and Sarah. Matilda is eight months old, and we're gonna show you some great baby yoga exercises. So today, we're gonna start on our backs. So we're gonna bring Matilda onto her back with her head furthest away and her feet closest towards you. It's great to have some baby toys nearby um, so that they can play while we're um, doing our baby yoga. Sometimes they are teething and they need to chew on something or just check stuff out. So I like to have some shaky eggs, some rattly-like toys, some balls, some great fun stuff to have nearby. And as you can see, Matilda likes the letter R, and it probably feels very good on her gums, right? Yeah. All right, so I like to start with uh, some gentle shoulder squeezes. So we're gonna start with her on her back and starting at her shoulders to give her little gentle uh, squeezes down her arms, just like you're kneading dough, right? Those delicious arms, little gentle squeezes. Ah. And then we can do that at her legs too, starting at her hips. She really likes that letter R. Yeah, yeah. We can give that back to her now that we're working on the legs, right? Just gentle squeezes, little massage from the hips all the way down to the feet. Yeah, and since her hands are busy, I would suggest now starting with her legs. So let's bring both knees into her chest and hold. I'm gonna use my bear here to demonstrate. And then we'll stretch them out nice and long, give her tiny tugs outwards with the legs and then bring them both in towards their chest and hold and stretch them out nice and long. And then we'll bicycle their legs in and out, one knee at a time, right? And this is great for gas, great for constipation, one knee in at a time. And stretch and tiny tugs outwards with the other legs. And then switch and switch and switch. And let's straighten them out nice and long again and bring both knees in towards your chest and hold them there. Ah, and then stretch them out nice and long and bring both knees in towards your chest and hold. Nice. Well done, Matilda. Stretch them out nice and long. And then we'll bring them back into her chest again. But this time, we're going to swoop them over to one side. And using a nearby toy or a shaky egg, we're going to get her to look in the other direction just like that for a twist, which is amazing for constipation. So what, there you go. So when you think about it, their organs are still developing. And through twists, we're able to wring what needs to move through their body, through their body. So twists are amazing for gas and constipation too. And then we'll bring your legs back to center, stretch them out nice and long, and then bring them back in towards your chest because what we do on one side, we must do on the other. So we're going to swoop her legs the other way. And then we'll get her to look in this direction, maybe at Marcus, maybe at a purple egg over here. Right? Beautiful twisting Matilda, looking great. I have another toy over here. There you go. And then we'll bring her knees back to center, stretch them out nice and long. Beautiful. Now we'll leave her legs for a moment. And if she allows us, because her hands seem to be kind of busy with the toy, we're going to do a little stretch with our arms. So again, let's try. And she might disagree. We'll see tiny tugs outwards with her arms. And then crossing one over the other, giving hugs to ourselves. Hugs, 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 hugs. And stretch them out. And cross them the other way. Hugs, 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 hugs. And open those arms. And stretch them the other way. Cross them over. Hugs, hugs, hugs. One more time. And cross them over the other way. Well done. And then release one arm. Oopsie, it's the yoga. It's a little gassy. That's OK. Right? We're going to cross the midline, which is great for their brain development. And we can do this lying down or seated. So it might be time to come up to sit. So we can do this seated, too. So let's bring Matilda up to sit, Marcus, too. And she can sit right in between your legs. Hi, yeah, we see so much better from up here. And then we'll grab opposite hand and foot. We'll take the other hand that's not holding the R, right? And tiny tugs outwards with her limbs. And then bring the foot to the hand or hand to the knee. 
and then stretch them out, stretch, 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 and bring them together. Crossing the midline is great for their brain development. Stretch, 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 and bring them together. Stretch, 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 and bring them together, all while holding the letter R. Stretch, 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 and bring them together. And now we can do the other side. So we'll switch opposite limbs. And again, tiny tugs, <clears throat> tiny tugs outwards, and then bring them together. Hand to foot or hand to knee. Stretch, 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 and bring them together. Stretch, 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 and bring them together. Stretch, 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 and bring them together. One more big one. Stretch, 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 and bring them together. Well done, Matilda. Let's have her seated. Uh, a little more straight up in between your legs. Perfect. Would you like that? There you go. So her hands are busy, so now let's work on her feet again, on her legs. So we'll grab hold of her uh, delicious feet and rub them together. We'll do our butt open butterfly wings. Rub, 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 and then open those wings. Hooray! And close them. Rub, 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 rub. And open. Woohoo! And close them up. Rub, 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 rub. And open them. Whee! And close them. Rub, 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 rub. And open. Hooray! And close them up. Let's reach the left one out. And bring it back. And the right. And back. And left. And back. And right. And back. And both. Yay! And clap them together. Clap, clap, clap. And then one foot at a time. Toes to nose. And then the other side. Toes to nose. And the first side. Beep, 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 beep and the second side, honk, honk, honk. And let's rub them together one more time, rub, 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 and open those big, beautiful butterfly wings, hooray! And then bring them together, and we'll release them down. We'll sit her up a little straighter. Yeah. Look what I got there. Yay, purple. Shake, 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 shake. Now, we'll see, because we, so you can notice she, her arms are pretty full. Um, whoops, we dropped something, but we can do our so bigs. We'll see if she'll let us, right? She might be a little busy and we'll move to something else. But let's grab hold of her arms and we'll reach them up to the sky. So big! And touch your toes. So big! And touch your toes. Oh, so big! And touch those toes. Matilda's so big! And touch your toes. One more time. Make it a big one. So big. And touch those toes. Now we're going to keep her hands at her feet, but we're going to take one arm and reach it back, something like this. So she's doing a nice big baby chest opener. Ah, yeah, it was a little smile. And the other side, of course. Ah. And sometimes that could feel very intense. It's nice to help them stretch out by giving them tiny tugs. Um, babies are so inward and so compact together that it's nice to help them release. That's not through meltdown when we fully can um, release all of our muscles and our, and our stuff. So it's nice to kind of help her to do that. Let's do one more. So big. Arms up and touch your toes. Now let's bring her hands to her belly. And we're going to gently guide them over to one side while we take slow, deep breaths in and out for a little seated twist over to one side. Ah, twisty. And then bring her to center and then the other side. Ah, twisty. And then we'll bring her back to center, right? And now from here, let's bring Matilda up to stand. Yeah, and she's supported, of course. And we're going to hold one arm around her chest, underneath her arms. And with the free hand, that same side leg, we'll guide into tree pose. That may not feel good to stand okay. on. There we go. Ready? Tree pose, tree pose, tree pose, tree pose, tree pose, tree pose. Tree pose, tree pose, and kick that leg out to the side, whoosh, 
And then we pat it on the ground, pat, 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 so they can feel the ground underneath them still. And then let's switch arms, because what we do on one side, we've got to do on the other, right? You're more of a left leg balancer. Let's see. Ready? Cheery pose, 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 and kick it out to the side. Whoosh! And pat it on the ground. Well done. Now for this pose, it's nice to have their feet on the ground, but if you feel that they are sinking into their ankles, it's good to give them just a little boost so their feet graze the ground. Matilda, as you can see, is pretty strong. Even though she's not walking on her feet, she's not collapsing into her ankles here. So it's nice to do tree pose twice on each side. We're gonna move on to a more challenging balancing pose, right? Matilda's done before. Um, which I recommend when the babies are uh, four months and older. Uh, we're going to hold her in the same way, but lean her a little forward. And then same side leg goes back for warrior three. That, that standing leg can stay on the ground. Sometimes it tends to float up. That's okay. Warrior, 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 warrior. Warrior, and scoop her up, give her kisses, make silly faces and noises, let her know how proud you are. Balancing is serious business, right? And then, of course, we must do the other side. Are you ready? Other leg. Warrior, 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 warrior. Warrior, and scoop her up, give her kisses, make silly faces and noises. That was great stuff, Matilda. We're going to come back to our bellies now, and we're going to do some great stuff for tummy time. So yeah, maybe she can face that way. Perfect. Yeah, here's your stuff. And let's start with some um, heel to bottom, some little tushy touches, right? Singing a tushy touch song is optional. I find that any kind of singing that you can do during baby yoga is so delightful and very engaging for them. Um, and we'll just do one heel at a time. Tushy touches, 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 and freeze and give those legs a little tiny tug out. And then bring both heels towards the bottom. And let's do another round. You got that? <clears throat> tushy touches, 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 freeze, and then give tiny tugs outwards again. Nice. Now let's try a baby bow pose. So I'd like to do a half bow, and we'll start with one arm that's anchored down. Now, I want Matilda to figure out which toy she wants first, and then we'll figure out which arm we're going to use. So I'm going to say this arm is going to be the anchor down arm, and then we'll grab this side and this side leg. So, she's, so as long as one arm's anchored down, we're going to grab the other side and bring the foot to the hand, the hand to the foot. Or we can try the other arm. We'll see. Which arm are you going to have free? Neither. That's OK. Let's see. Here we go. There we go. Maybe. Let's try again. Let's try this side. Look, you're doing yoga without us in your locust pose. Bow pose. Bow pose. Not today. That's okay. We'll skip the bow pose part. That's right. No, we're going to skip it. Does that make you happy? Let's see. Let's see if she'll let me try one more. <clears throat> one. 
Nope, no. not happening today. Let's turn her over onto her back, and let's see if we can get a baby bird. That's okay. That's okay. We don't need to bow pose. It's some serious back bending. We'll do a bridge pose. Let's try a bridge pose. So let's put her on her back. Yeah, with her head closest towards you. Here you go. I've got an E. Oh, that might taste good. <laughs> Maybe it's the R. Here's the R. No, like the E. Okay. So we're going to guide her feet to the ground and encourage her knees to be up. And then from here, we'll lift her bottom up for a bridge pose. And then we'll name it bridge pose, bridge pose. So the feet stay down. And she, it's her job to fight you. That's OK. It's her job to fight you. And we'll lift her bottom. Bridge pose, bridge pose, bridge pose, bridge pose. Nicely done. And the more we do some of these poses with them and have put a name to it, the more likely it is that you can start to say it and they'll start to do it on their own, right? Should we try one more? Should we try one more? Let's see. Bridge pose, bridge pose. Maybe we're not feeling it today. That's okay. That was plenty of bridges. That's right. Lots of bridges. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to grab Matilda by her hands and her wrists. And we're going to guide her up to sit. And then we're going to start to lean her back down. And you'll see how she starts to use her belly muscles to avoid that head crash down. It's nice to do two of those just to check. So let's do one more time, even though we know she can do it. We'll guide her up to sit. And one more time, and slowly let her down. And you can see and feel how she's slowing it down. And of course, we don't want her head to crash. All right, little baby crunches, but that's just really for a test. We're not building a six pack with these guys. Yeah, let's do a little flying. So let's bring Matilda to your shins with her head poking out just over your knees. Yeah, fun stuff. And we're going to lie on our backs, keeping our calves as parallel to the ground as we can. And then we'll send her away from us as we breathe out. And as you draw them back in, breathe in. Send them away. Bye-bye. And draw in. Hello. Adios. Hola. Au revoir. Bonjour. Arrivederci. Buongiorno. Shalom. Shalom. We'll send her away and draw her back in. And one more time, reach her out and hold her out. And then draw her in towards your chest and scoop her off your shins to bring her to sit onto your belly. And we'll rock ourselves up into a bow pose. Now, they can either face you or they can face out. Either way is fine and totally up to you. We'll come into a boat pose with the baby. And we can use their arms as little oars, right? Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. One more time. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. And we'll bring her slowly down. And I think we'll skip a baby headstand today. I don't think she's going to have it. Does she typically like it? Want to give it a go? All right. So we're going we're gonna to slide them down our legs for a little baby headstand. Now, of course, they're not doing a real headstand. We want their head to be about an inch from the top of our feet. And then very slowly, the key is always slowly. If your baby screams and fusses, still come out slowly because their equilibriums are still developing. And remember that they spent nine months this way. Ah. And then we'll come out nice and slow and take a forward bend over your babe. Give kisses if you can reach. 
And then from here, let's bring her back to the blanket. Nice. And then, you know, the message that we're getting is that, you know, Matilda's had enough here today. And she's gotten a lot of yoga poses out. And uh, it's nice to now have like a little bit of relaxation. So it's nice for mommy to come lie down. And you could bring her to your chest or have her sit um, upright on your belly if you'd like to rest with legs up the wall, right? And have some quiet time. And if you guys would like to lie down, go right ahead. So this has been baby yoga, mom and baby, dad and baby, caregiver and baby, uh, as long as the baby's there. I'm Shari with Karma Kid Yoga. I want to thank Matilda and Sarah for joining me this morning and showing all her awesome baby yoga moves.